so far has been a little bit interesting. I had some quite uh, major health issues actually at the beginning of the year. And so I've had a bit of a slow start, but I've now run him at Chatsworth and Lemoulin and here, and um, really excited to be on the team for Arkin. And fingers crossed for everything after that. I have uh, not that much horsepower, but I do think I have quality. So I have this guy, which I bred in Australia, and I have an eight-year-old um, who's just about to hit a head up to three star. And he, I think, is lovely, and hope to have him run alongside this one for a bit and maybe be a Tokyo contender if everything goes to plan. Uh, and he's owned by a long-standing loyal owner of mine, uh, Susan Lamb. So that's really exciting. After Arkin, obviously, I'd love to be on the WEG team. That's my, been my big aim this year. Uh, and we will wait and see. I mean, if I can tick all the boxes at Arkin and not do anything stupid, I've, fingers crossed. Uh, if not, I'll take him to Burley. He, is a, you know, he did Poe last year. He's a little thoroughbred horse. I think Burley would really suit him. So I'm open-minded. Anyway. To prepare for Arkin, it's sort of, a, I keep it the same, mostly. You have a routine and I try not to think of it as a bigger event than anything else. At, for my mind, it's just another event at the end of the day and I try to enjoy riding my horse and, you know, listening to everything that he's doing. We've got some team training coming up with a Nelson Pessoa and Gareth Hughes, which is fantastic. And just trying to get every little bit of information out of them so that we can perform at our best at Arkin. Uh, obviously for WEG, the Germans are obviously very strong and I think the Brits at Le Moulin were incredibly strong and I think they've got a massive depth. So I think they're going to be really hard. I, and at the moment I'm looking at the Germans and the Brits and you know, you've got to punch yourself against them. I, th I think that the, as Aussies, we do have a strong team. I don't know how much, you know, you know, if things start to go wrong with the horses, I don't know how many we have, but I think as things stand, we've got a strong team. But the Brits and the Germans are the ones to watch. I will always be Australian, and I've always wanted to ride for Australia. So for me, it would be incredible honour to ride for Australia. I rode uh, in WEG in 2002, so a very long time ago. Um, and this horse really deserves to represent his country, so I'd love to do it with him.